very good Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday here on Why in the Morning, only on Y254 channel. And I am Hilda Watidi. I hope you did catch that interview with Juan Barry Moses. But however, it's about time we let you, we delve into something a bit interesting and a bit uh, breaking away from the norm. And we want to talk about young people and owning homes. You know, like we are going to delve a little bit in whether you should construct your own home, buy, rent. And Bonke is here with us. I have one professional property consultant is specializing in building and construction who is going to guide us eh, on, on this particular topic however if you do have any questions that eh, palette twitter we are at y254 channel the hashtag is why in the morning on facebook we are at y254 and on instagram we are at y254 underscore channel and also at why in the morning tv show so do make sure you participate and ask all the questions you need to know in this economic recession we need to know more about owning homes as millennials so i will allow bonke to say good morning to you bonke komwai mm -hmm. good morning Good morning, our viewers. I'm Bonke Komwai. All right, Bonke Komwai, you are, uh, you are uh, um, a property consultant, yeah? We'd like to understand what it's like, in a, a, um, what it's like to be in your shoes for a day. What do you do from morning to evening? Well, mm -hmm. I'm into construction industry mm -hmm. and also politics. Mm -hmm. I concentrate so much also on day-to-day -day politics. Mm -hmm. But uh, I spend most of my time into construction as a property consultant mm -hmm. so our work mm -hmm. um site supervision mm -hmm. if i'm not in the office mm -hmm. but if i'm in the office consultancy of course and taking care of our clients mm -hmm. uh, i'm the director of step villas mm -hmm. properties mm -hmm. limited all right so we'd like to understand uh, before you delved into this particular line of career is there, did you study for it or is it something that you can just do Yes, I did project management and building construction. Uh -huh. So I had a lot of interest to be into construction industry. Okay, um, so before before we start consulting, we'd like to understand how many years you've been doing this. Oh uh, well, I've been into construction industry since two thousand and nine. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've uh, I've been involved into quite a number of properties around, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of very proud of them because none of my properties they've been demolished none of them have been demolished uh, also demolished. none of them have been found uh, liable and repaired and like absolutely <laughs> yeah. all right all right so most millennials nowadays don't own homes uh, we are mostly renting out apartments and what have you and for somebody uh, of your nature we'd like to understand what should we what are the things we need to know before we we construct our own homes especially in this economy what do we need to know as young people well, owning a property is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are working or doing business, the only pride you can have after you've retired is owning a piece of a land mm -hmm. or a unit. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not discourage mm -hmm. our viewers mm -hmm. not to buy an apartment, mm -hmm. just to direct them to, to build a house. Mm -hmm. But uh, based on your question on mm -hmm. what should we do, it will depend with what you want to do. Mm -hmm. If you want to invest in a property, mm -hmm. I think you should do it today. Mm -hmm. Because the principle of property, there is no day a land or a house will depreciate. Mm -hmm. A house is not like a car. Mm -hmm. So I would discourage our young people, mm -hmm. young Kenyans, mm -hmm not to rush to buy flashy cars mm -hmm. use that money to buy a plot wherever you want to buy it mm -hmm. whether in the village mm -hmm. or in nairobi or mm -hmm. anywhere you are mm -hmm. but if you want to buy a plot mm -hmm. there is proper due diligence you must engage professionals mm -hmm. because brokers and con men are in the industry yes but i'm not discouraging brokers because there are some professional brokers mm -hmm. whereby you don't know the owner but uh, the, the broker knows the owner mm -hmm. and this person must be paid a commission mm -hmm. but they are con men in the in, in, in the uh, land uh, you know land business mm -hmm. so before you buy a land you may be interested to buy a land and you have no idea you have to consult a surveyor mm -hmm. before you consult your lawyer you mm -hmm. check the surveyor mm -hmm. to do the surveying process mm -hmm. okay wait wait take us through step by step what's the first what's the first step because now i'm hearing a couple of steps what's the first step before we get to the lawyer before we get the quantity yeah. surveyor what's the first step if you're buying a land mm -hmm. first of all you must go and see the land mm -hmm. you cannot buy something you've not seen mm -hmm. a land you have to drive there go and see the land because property you have to get connected with the property mm -hmm. if you are interested to buy a property immediately you move into that 
property, mm -hmm. you'll feel connected. You love the ambience. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you must go and see the property. Mm -hmm. And if you feel that I like this place, I can live here, mm -hmm. even if you will invest there for commercial purposes, mm -hmm. but you assume that you are the one who will live there because mm -hmm. human beings are the ones who will live there. Mm. Either you want to do farming or you want to use it as, as a residential. Mm. So once you felt the place and you're like, I like this place, then you, you do a search request for the documents of the land. Mm -hmm. Then the process of searching a property, you'll go to the land board, you do your due diligence by checking if the plot is genuine, the LR number is adequate based on what you're being given. Mm -hmm. Then you involve a surveyor. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested, whoever introduced you to the, to the property, Mm -hmm. Now you can either meet the owner mm -hmm. or the trustees because there are some lands which are being sold under trustees, some are sold, being, being sold by, by individuals. Mm -hmm. So you meet these people, you do proper due diligence. Once you've confirmed, mm -hmm. then you seek for legal uh, advice. Mm -hmm. So your lawyer will take you through due process mm -hmm. on how to do, do an agreement mm -hmm. and also to pay. Mm -hmm. Then before that, you may be a mortgage buyer. Mm -hmm or a cash buyer. Mm -hmm. If you are a mortgage buyer, you must also check your financial institution, whoever is financing you, mm -hmm. whether it's a bank, a SACO, or whichever uh, institution you are using to finance your property. Mm -hmm. So check and do proper analysis mm -hmm. if they're giving you a good deal, because mm -hmm. you, you cannot make a decision with one institution or with one bank, mm. because maybe it can affect you in future. Mm. So you do analysis based on your income, mm -hmm. then you also seek advice from a, a financial consultant mm -hmm. to analyze and predict your income based on what you're getting today. Mm -hmm. Then you will have a peaceful, uh, a, a peaceful process of buying a property mm -hmm. if it is land. Mm -hmm. But if it is a house, mm -hmm. you have to do your analysis as well. Mm -hmm. You do your research properly. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe a part, an apartment is going for six million. Mm -hmm. There's some going for thirty. Mm -hmm. Some I'm going. For, some are going up to sixty million. Yeah. Like even in Lovington, mm -hmm. I had apartment going for seventy-five million. Mm -hmm. So, based on your budget, mm -hmm. go to the property, mm -hmm. do proper due diligence. Now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an apartment is a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. You may find that the land had an issue, mm -hmm. and it's being built. Mm -hmm when there are some clashes which the seller mm -hmm. is trying to protect and does not want the buyers to know. Yes. So immediately you commit, mm -hmm. you find that the, the, an, an, this apartment it has a serious case and the construction can go on. Mm -hmm. And you, as you can see, uh, you maybe you may be moving around, yeah. there are some apartments which are stalled for more than a year. Yeah. So some of them, they have got cases. So you must also do proper research how do you know like you said like the, the seller might be having a, a particular case but they don't want the buyers to know and how do you know so who, who do you involve in that process of investigation yeah that's why you must consult a professional real estate firm mm -hmm. if if you meet a professional real estate firm that is the due diligence we do on behalf of the client mm -hmm. or any other firm can do not only us mm -hmm. or any other professional real estate firm will do mm -hmm. we, they will be able to advise you mm -hmm. that you see this land mm -hmm. it has got issues because we can do deep due diligence mm -hmm. maybe somebody's a journalist like you mm -hmm. you know nothing about uh, property mm -hmm. but you are interested to invest mm -hmm. so all this due diligence and we can act on your behalf mm -hmm. to question a developer mm -hmm. that this land it has uh, issues mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the apartment the finishing is pathetic based on the agreement you gave the clients yes. so s those are some of the things because you may find that there are some properties uh, we call them off-plan, mm -hmm. off-plan apartments, off plan. Mm -hmm. whereby you are you are here, mm -hmm. and uh, they are, we are just marketing the 3D concept mm -hmm. of an apartment. Mm -hmm. Like this is where we are going to build. Mm -hmm. The houses will be two mm -hmm. and three and one mm -hmm. plus a studio house. Mm -hmm. So a studio house mm -hmm. will be going for mm -hmm. six million mm -hmm. Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to take 13 months to build this project. Mm -hmm. We have got uh, expatriates who mm -hmm. are interested. So b based on the marketing process mm -hmm. of, an on, of an individual. Mm -hmm. Now for you to make such a risk, mm -hmm. because you are not sure whether the mm -hmm. developer will build mm -hmm. or not, mm -hmm. Then the prof these companies, mm -hmm. like now, if my company, mm -hmm. we know there are some developers who may use your money yes. to show that they are busy building, mm -hmm. but they are not qualified. 
based oh, on so the this is when it's on paper when uh, it's when it's not really been constructed just ab yet. absolutely ah, uh -huh. so you must know the reputation of a, de uh, a developer ah. but a first-time developer should not lie to you someone who has never built anything because if you ask them do you have any property you've built because uh -huh. you must ask mm -hmm. to see the quality of what of they're work. building yes uh -huh. yes check if there is any property they've built before uh -huh. and 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 see mm -hmm. if if it match what they are trying to sell to to the clients or to you, but mm -hmm. if it is a first time developer or a foreigner who is coming to Kenya, yeah. that I'm a developer, we are you can pay two million, yeah. then we'll give you a period of thirteen months to finish. Mm -hmm. Most of Kenyans they've been a victim of conning in industry of oh, real no. estate. Yes, yes, yes. That has been quite a problem indeed. But how do I know I can trust the the, the firm that I've decided to to do this transaction on my behalf? Like, if, how do I pick a re, a realtor for for like, for example, like you have said, like for me, very green, like on property, maybe I don't know. And you've said like it's very good for you to go to approach a real estate firm to do this due diligence on my behalf. How do I know which real estate firm I can trust to do this on my behalf? There are two things. Mm -hmm. A busy real estate company, mm -hmm. you okay. There, there, there are two options. Yes, you can either pay your deposit mm -hmm. through a company, mm -hmm. a real estate company, mm -hmm. or you can use that real uh, real estate company to mm -hmm. act on your behalf, mm -hmm. and you just pay the consultancy fee. Okay. So if you trust based on your instinct, mm -hmm. because when you feel like okay, these people they look genuine, mm -hmm. uh, they they have got quite a number of properties, yeah. they can disappear with my ten million. Yeah then they can act on your behalf uh -huh. that we can pay you a deposit. That's why mm -hmm. some of the landlords, they allow some real estate firms to collect rents on their behalf. Mm -hmm. So it is a personal decision you make. Okay. Like the way you can trust your lawyer mm -hmm. to hold your property. Yeah. So it's a, there are professional firms in this country, uh -huh. real estate professional firms, mm -hmm. that do such kind of things. Mm -hmm. But if you're not contented, mm -hmm. you can just consult mm -hmm. and you pay Mm -hmm. directly through your lawyer mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. there are two options you can either use a real estate company mm -hmm. or you use your lawyer mm -hmm. to pay a deposit on your behalf mm -hmm. but when it comes to the finishing the details of the real the, the real conceptualization yes. of the concept which was being sold by the client mm -hmm. that one you must get a real estate consultant mm -hmm. who is into construction industry okay because the lawyer will argue legally mm -hmm. then i will come in mm -hmm. to look at the you know the details mm -hmm. of the finishing mm -hmm. if it was an open plan american kitchen yeah fitted with microwave oven the dishwasher mm -hmm. and those things are not there yeah i can be able to push on the developer yeah if the finishing of the floor be it wooden or tile mm -hmm. you know yeah. the paintwork is pathetic mm -hmm. the, the the exterior concept is different with mm -hmm. what was sold to us mm -hmm. then we can question the developer okay and if the house is leaking we can notice mm -hmm. before the the developer hands over the property to you mm -hmm. then that's when i'll come in to supervise uh -huh. and write down mm -hmm. the, some of the things that the developer need to repair before we hand over the, the house to the client. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, no, there's another issue that um, most young people combat with a lot, which is rent. How do you know you're paying the right amount of rent or you're being overcharged? What, Like you said, you'll come and check the finishing of the house and what have you. How do I know that I'm paying the right amount? How do, how do uh, property owners come about their rent charge? Well, it's a it's a big challenge mm -hmm. in uh, Kenyan market yeah. because there is no decorum in real estate. Mm -hmm. The properties they've been exaggerated, and yeah. we know mm. somebody is just coming up with figures which are quite exorbitant. Mm -hmm. That oh, after three months, the and and actually property managers they are good at that by mm -hmm. threatening clients, mm -hmm. agents. Mm -hmm. You know, after three months, they are writing a letter to a tenant that mm -hmm. we've added rent, mm -hmm. and uh, and please, if you cannot make it, then they do it politely. If yeah. you can't make it, then you can just uh, forget the premises. Mm -hmm. It is now going back to the government. Yeah. We must have a system in which the real estate on real estate companies mm -hmm. or property owners should follow. Mm -hmm we need a professional valuation process mm -hmm. because we cannot say that an apartment which will, uh, you, uh, I'm, uh, I'm paying a hundred thousand today mm -hmm. th three bedroom apartment in mm -hmm. lovington mm -hmm. then then by next year because we normally change the uh, there is what we call annual increment mm -hmm. if you look at uh, your lease your lease agreement mm -hmm. there is that annual 
agreement uh, annual increment yeah so it at times it's 12 percent mm -hmm. or 10 percent mm -hmm. or you can negotiate to it can be less than 10 percent this is the appreciation you're talking about yes of the rent uh -huh. so and, and and why is that happening because there's some natural dynamics like mm -hmm. political issues there may be an earthquake mm -hmm. so it legal it's there's some legal issues mm -hmm. which are there mm -hmm. and uh, they are so hidden and this no our tenants may not know all the owners mm -hmm. And also the real estate companies, mm -hmm. because they will be good to you mm -hmm. when you want to move in as a tenant. Mm -hmm. Then once you live there for three months, or you can delay with the rent mm -hmm. and they start threatening you. Yeah. And there is also another process which experience I have also come through yes. about the auctioneers. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are some thieves. There's oh. a team of cartel yeah. mm -hmm. in the construction and the real estate industry. They work with some uh, some some funny agents. Mm -hmm. So if you don't pay a rent for like a month, mm -hmm. no one can understand you. You have nowhere to report mm -hmm. that, you know, maybe uh, my business is not doing good yeah. or my salary. Maybe you are working in a private sector mm -hmm. and uh, my salary delayed. Mm -hmm. So please give me some 10 days to pay my rent. Mm -hmm. So they will threaten with a letter to auction you. Mm -hmm. And they take everything inside your house worth millions of shillings because of 40,000. Yeah. We have got tenants who have been into depression mm. because of that. Mm -hmm. So the government should create a system mm -hmm. whereby auctioneers, there's a process mm -hmm. of, auction, of auctioneering mm -hmm. a property. Mm -hmm. And there's also a process of threatening a client with a rent. Mm -hmm. And then we must also create a process mm -hmm. of increasing rent. Mm -hmm. So it's a challenge mm -hmm. in the market. Mm -hmm. But I think the, uh, the Minister of Infrastructure, mm -hmm. these are some of the things mm -hmm. that the government should look at. All right, all right, that's very interesting. We'd like to understand maybe, because now you've mentioned the appreciation of the rent um, almost on an annual basis. This is probably based on the social amenities that are also coming up in the process, maybe around. Maybe when you were when you were initially buying the apartment, there were no supermarkets and what have you. But now we have big, we have supermarkets and what have you. So I'd just like to understand, for somebody maybe who's not renting, who just wants to buy a home. We are done with this renting business. You just want to buy a home. How important is it to look at the social amenities around? Is it, it a big deal or is it something that people just... It, it's a big deal. Uh -huh. If you're buying a if you're buying a property, mm -hmm. you must consider the ambience mm -hmm. and most of the tenants. Because anytime you're buying a property, mm -hmm. you must have in mind that one day you'll rent that property. Ah, because you'll never live there forever. Okay, it can be your first property mm -hmm. or your first home. Mm -hmm. Then you retire somewhere. Mm -hmm. You can buy apartment in Imarodaima. Mm -hmm. Then you find yourself retiring in Karen or mm -hmm. in Runda. Ah. So when you're buying a property, mm -hmm. you must think commercially. Mm -hmm. Now, tenants, I'll still come back to tenants. Mm -hmm. Everyone will love uh, convenience, yeah. especially the middle class. That's where the, the, where the, that's where the money is. Yeah. And most of the developers who consult professionals, mm -hmm. because I do feasibility studies, mm -hmm. and feasib feasibility studies is quite wide. Mm -hmm. I mean, the developers must also listen to this, and first home owners. Mm -hmm. When we do feasibility studies, it's quite wide. Mm -hmm. We do project, we do proper, uh, marketing analysis, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and also uh, the valuation mm -hmm. and bill of quantities. Mm -hmm. So it's and, and conceptualization. We come up with a concept of the property okay. and marketing analysis. Oh, so mm -hmm. so now, if you are buying a property today, mm -hmm. you must consider where there is a mall. Mm -hmm. if, is there any mall around? The school, mm -hmm. the hospital, especially for the children, mm -hmm. and also the matatu. Mm -hmm. Because your house help may not be living in your house. Mm. And you want her to be in your house before you go to work. Mm -hmm. So the matatu, the connection of matatu, mm -hmm. if the, the connection of matatu, and also the mall, mm -hmm. the hospital, mm -hmm. and the church, if you are spiritual or mosque. Mm -hmm. So those are the key issues. Mm -hmm. And especially the expatriates, what they normally ask, because you can buy a, a two-bedroom a two bedroom or a one-bedroom, yes. fully furnished. Yeah. And first thing the, these people from the embassies they ask us is, okay, what's the next mall? Mm -hmm. the, you know, like Yaya Center, yeah. Sarit Center, you yeah. know, such kind of malls. Yeah. And again, what kind of there are reputable children hospitals which I won't mention, mm -hmm. and there are also reputable schools, mm -hmm. international and local, mm -hmm. and also matatu connection, mm -hmm. so they could end security. 
Yes, security. Yes, yes, and, yes, and, yes, and, yes. And security. Mm -hmm. So if you are a developer mm -hmm. and you want to build in senior, mm -hmm. the co if you're building more than 300 units or mm -hmm. more than 100, yeah. you must consider mm -hmm. a mall, mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. hospitals, mm -hmm. and also a police post. Mm -hmm. You must give the government land. Oh, police post. <laughs> the, it, very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so I would like to understand, for the construction industry, the building and construction industry, it's not very popular amongst young people. And I'd like to understand what are the opportunities that exist? What are the gaps in, in your particular industry that young people out there can exploit? Construction industry is wide. Uh -huh. It's very big. Mm -hmm. First, we have got architects. Mm -hmm. We have project managers. Mm -hmm. We have got valuers. Mm -hmm. We have structural engineers. Mm -hmm. We have electrical engineers. Mm -hmm. We have mechanical engineers. Hey. We have suppliers mm -hmm. to supply materials. Mm -hmm. We have got laborers, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and we have got laborers. So it, it, it depends with where, you, and marketers, mm -hmm. and property consultants. Mm -hmm. So it depends with where, where you want to fit in. Mm -hmm. If you are a professional, yeah. you are trained as an engineer, mm -hmm. please go into practice mm -hmm. and do practical, mm -hmm. not just design work in the office, mm -hmm. and you don't go for the real actualization mm -hmm. of concept you've drawn. Mm -hmm. Because that's, that's the mistake, because I, I've seen young people today from the universities, mm -hmm. when they come to your office, mm -hmm. even an architect, they are so good in two, there's what we call 2D and 3D. Mm -hmm. 3D is what you you see on Facebook, a nice three-bedroom house. Yeah. And there are no details. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you tell this architect, can you supervise this property? Mm -hmm. They can't. Mm -hmm. So they must be that. They have to go to the site. Mm -hmm. They have to have that experience. Mm -hmm. And again, suppliers. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go, you don't need to have a degree to supply a chuma. Okay. You don't need to have a degree to supply a cement. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have a degree to supply nails mm -hmm. and, 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 and roof tiles. Yeah. So... If you are an entrepreneur and you want to venture into business, mm -hmm. you can have a small hardware, mm -hmm. then walk into this construction uh, site mm -hmm. and request for an uh, for, for an opportunity. Ah. If you can supply a cement, mm -hmm. then you don't have to have millions. Mm -hmm. Go to any cement factory, mm -hmm. tell them that I have this contract, mm -hmm. these people, they need 400 bags. Mm -hmm. Please deliver, and mm -hmm. how much is my commission? Mm -hmm. That's how people start these things. I see. You get Yeah. But the challenge... Mm which the government must also now come in. Yes. We have a problem with foreigners who are now investing. Yeah. And you know, without any contradiction, that Chinese, yes. they've really invested heavily mm -hmm. in real estate in Kenya. Yeah. But the work they're doing is 90% poor. Mm -hmm. According to how we know uh, when we came into real estate, yeah. Indians used to do a fantastic job. Uh -huh. If you buy a house with an Indian, mm -hmm. you'll get a real house or Kenyans. Uh -huh. But I don't know how Chinese came to Kenya and they believe that we, we, we buy cheap things. Mm -hmm. They just bring substandard stuff. Yeah. You buy their property, oh. a two bedroom, oh. and, 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 and after three months, the sink is collapsed. The sink it I was has actually broken. commenting about that in the morning when I was talking to Barry Moses here. There's a building I saw up over there along Kilelishwa Road that was actually built like I think five five and a half years ago or like three years ago. And I was surprised because like it has it now looks like it has been there for so many, so many, many, many years. It's starting to leak, it's starting to to look and it's actually done by a Chinese. It was developed yes. by a Chinese. So I can corroborate your story. It is very true. And mm -hmm. there was one near Methodist yes. uh, guest house. Yeah. The tiles were peeling off. Yes. The exterior tiles. So mm. uh, you know in, in if you are doing uh, an exterior uh, you want to decorate your property with the tiles, mm -hmm. uh, the exterior concept. Mm -hmm. There's what we call adhesive. Mm -hmm. This adhesive cement, they don't use it. They apply ah. the normal cement. Oh. So when the tile is not, a tile is like a sharp. So that is the research you're saying we should be doing on the uh, developers. Uh, absolutely. Ah. And, and, and we need to bring decorum also in construction. Because yeah. a Chinese cannot come in mm -hmm. in the name of um, the financier. Yeah. Then the marketer is a Chinese. Mm -hmm. They are supplying their own materials. <laughs> They are the contractors. That is why I was asking about the opportunity. And in Kenyans are just watchmen. Yeah. And they are also supervising Kenyans with police within the site. Hey. You know, mm. I think it's a, it's a loophole. Uh -huh. There is someone these Chinese are giving money mm -hmm. to intimidate Kenyans. Mm -hmm. If we don't control Chinese in construction industry, mm -hmm. and I was involved for campaigning for President Uru Kenyatta last mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. as the chairman of youth mm -hmm. youth affairs and director of youth affairs uh -huh. in Jubilee. Mm -hmm. 
the main four agenda we are the ones who came up with the concept mm -hmm. and one of them is the food security mm -hmm. and the housing mm -hmm. If we do, if we want to actualize the big four, the affordable housing especially. Absolutely, <laughs> we must bring the affordable housing, mm -hmm. but the quality ones. Okay. And if we don't control Chinese how they do business, mm. then we are going to lose the the value of our property in this country, mm -hmm. and most of us we are going to lose job opportunities. But that is why we wanted to to highlight and make sure the young people know that they have an opportunity to own homes. They don't they can build their own homes in their villages and where have you, and then they can they can eventually stand on their own two feet and they don't need to do anything. So I'd like to understand before we leave uh, for raw materials. Okay, I've gotten a plot and what have you what can i start slowly slowly stalking in that particular land that will be that will enable me to build a house eventually uh okay th 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 that's that's very important yeah <coughs> you don't have to have 10 million yes. or 5 million yes that's or why i'm asking that yeah to, to to build a house yeah the most important thing is to acquire a land mm -hmm. whether it's 50 by 100 a mm -hmm. quarter or mm -hmm. a half or one acre mm -hmm. after acquiring a land mm -hmm. Now you have, you know how you get your money. Yeah. Something like balance does not expire. Mm -hmm. So if you have like fifty thousand, mm -hmm. ask within that area uh -huh. how much is seven tons uh -huh. of a balance. Uh -huh. Then take even three trips, uh -huh. put it there, mm -hmm. forget about it. Mm -hmm. Next month when you get another money, uh -huh. do another balance uh -huh. based on. But before you put on, b before you start taking your your materials there, yeah, you must engage the architect to come up with a concept okay after coming up with a concept mm -hmm. then you'll know then it, they will do the bill of quantities yes we we'll know how, how much, much balance you yeah, need yes L let's yeah. say you are building a three-bedroom machine yes or a five-bedroom bank or townhouse mm -hmm. so based on that you mm -hmm. know i need five million mm -hmm. or seven million uh -huh. or four million to build uh -huh. it's cheaper than uh -huh. buying a ready-made house yeah. building is cheaper yes and that should that go is what i wanted the young people to know yes. building is cheaper, cheaper than buying a ready-made than buying yes. a ready -made house yeah but it takes time yeah so you put you you take this uh materials mm -hmm. slowly by slowly mm -hmm. based on the bq yeah then once you've settled uh -huh. then you engage the fully now yeah that i want to start the foundation yeah do the first slab uh -huh. if you don't have money forget about it uh -huh. go on with your work yeah but walling is not expensive yeah of uh, the only expensive area is doing the shutter uh -huh. now the slab uh -huh. again mm -hmm. if you want to do a machine mm -hmm. yeah so you do the process of uh uh, putting on your materials yeah after after you've done that you consult your fundi if mm -hmm. they're enough mm -hmm. then you can just start building i see so you can actually buy materials slowly 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 and put them in your particular plot after you have fenced it of course you have to make sure the security yes. and then you can start the process and do your due diligence in constructing Absolutely. the house yeah. all right thank you so much bonke komwai it's thank about you. here we conclude this segment thank he was is a property consultant professionally specializing in building and construction i hope you have learned something and i hope you now know it's cheaper to build your own house than to buy a, than to get a ready-made home and also it will ensure that you have good quality you know yes. you never know nowadays it's a, it will ensure that you have good quality anyway i'm hilda wazidi don't go anywhere entrepreneurship tuesday continues shortly